Over the past 25 years, the Western flower trips has spread from its origins in the southwestern parts of the USA to become a major greenhouse pest. The species, with the Latin name Franklinella occidentalis, is a member of the trips family. Adults are up to 1.5 millimeters long and prefer to stay concealed, for instance, inside flowers, where they feed on energy-rich pollen. Apart from ornamental plants, the western flower trips also attack many vegetable crops, such as beans, as can be seen here. The mouth parts are designed for piercing and sucking, allowing them to penetrate plant cells and to suck out their contents. Many plant cells are depleted one by one within a restricted area, as shown here much accelerated. These emptied areas turn pale and are usually covered by dark spots of feces. Severely infested parts of plants can become dehydrated. Franklinella occidentalis also transmits the economically important tomato-spotted wilt virus. Male western flower trips are smaller than females. After mating, the females use a special ovipositor in order to insert their eggs into the plant tissue. The first stage larvae hatch a few days later and soon start feeding. Here we see the feeding process of such a larva at five times normal speed. Older first stage larvae often live together in small social groups. A few days later they shed their cuticle and become second stage larvae, which also feed by removing the contents of plant cells. Once these second stage larvae are fully developed, they usually move to the soil for pupation. The molting process to the next stage, the prepupa, is shown here on a leaf. Prepupae have small wing stubs and do not feed. Later on, they molt to pupae with much longer wing stubs. Finally, adult trips arise from the pupae. At 20 degrees Celsius, Insects take about three weeks to develop from eggs to adults. Over 10 generations a year can be produced in the greenhouse. <laughs>